Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, we're going to do some PEX plumbing for the upstairs bathroom. Um, now this is just going to be running the plumbing, the PEX, um, through the way I need to run it, using the fittings I need to use. Now although your bathroom is probably going to be a different layout than mine, a lot of these things and the fittings I use um, will apply to how you're going to want to do yours. So. Uh, if you're really wondering how to do the kind of behind the scenes and behind the walls and under the floors kind of plumbing with the PEX, uh, this video is for you. All right, I'm let's gonna get take, to it. I'll start with my PEX plumbing here and start running it where I know I need to, which I also know I need to go behind these right here on that wall and into the downstairs bathroom where we'll be hooking the rest of it. And up. this is where. The run is going to go to somewhere in this area right here and then shoot on over and up to the bathtub. Um, but the first thing I need to do is actually I'm going to, no, I am. I'm going to stick this piece on here because this is going to go up and over to the bathtub. It also is going to shoot off of that, go to the toilet, and then shoot around and head to the um, sink and shower on the other side. So this has got a few things going all starting from here, and I'm going to at some point hook this here. But for right now, I'm going to leave it loose so I can work with it. we got to go ahead and crimp that piece on there. Uh, it's going to go somewhere in here and shoot off that way and that way. So I got to go cut this on the other end where it needs to cut and then I'll start using that. I don't know yeah. if you'll be able to see this, but uh, let's see, hot is left and cold is right. So I got a hole right here and a hole right here. So I want my red one, which is hot, on the left. And I'm going to try and go over the top of these instead of under but yeah you know what I'm just gonna go this way because I do think actually well I think this is going to be more difficult to bend than I want and I'm gonna go up above and I'm gonna kind of anchor that where I want it uh, I'm not gonna show you that but basically just find something that'll kind of hold I it there I have that where I want it up through the hole and I'm gonna take and with a sharpie just kind of make a mark here so I know if that moves from where I want it or not then I'm going to kind of hold that there and I'm going to bring it over so I have enough and then a little bit to put that in to my connection there and I'm just going to cut it off that. Glad I marked it, so it fell out. I got my mark on there. I'm going to shove that back up through this hole here. And that should make it so I can bring it up here and have more than enough room. Go ahead. So I'm going to, and I hook this in, you might notice, just kind of a, I have it loosely fitted on there. So it would stay when I went to run it. Awesome. Bring that up more because so I'm gonna have way more than enough, but that's alright. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Then, this is where the tight spaces kind of suck with this tool. Alright, we're good there. And I'm going to leave this kind of loose just sitting here for now. I can pop that off and move it around a little bit. And I do not have this hooked in on the other end yet. Now from here, we're going to right go about to the now shower. You're probably saying, man, that looks like crud. It's, how's he supposed to finish that off? And it's hanging down here and there. Well, yeah, it kind of does. But this is going to be covered up here because it's got the water heater in it. And there's going to be a wall going from here over uh, or a door or something to cover this up 
where I can still get in here and, and work with stuff. And if I have any leaks, it won't be behind a wall. It will be out in the open uh, where I can fix it pretty easily. So that's why I'm kind of doing it this way. Now, yeah, you might want to, instead of just coming out and around, going up around and up through this way, if you needed to have it covered up, you were going to finish all this off you'd need to go like all oh, where the blue one is and stuff would all have to go and you'd have to drill holes kind of like I did for the kitchen well exactly like I did for the kitchen area um, that's in a different video but anyway um, and then like this would have to shoot straight up and then you'd have to have another T there coming this way and then up through there because this stuff although it's pretty flexible it doesn't flex that great so um, I'm just kind of taking the easy way out because all this is going to be completely covered up. Now i got to run the cold one and it's exactly the same as this one. Well, uh, last I left off, that pipe was going around and up into there. Well, I have since realized that I'm going to have some plumbing going through here and that was totally going to get it away. Uh, I've also kind of changed the direction of this here, but that's neither here nor there. It should hopefully bring this out of the way. Uh, and what it is is for the drainage for the uh, vent pipe and for the toilet and the tub is all going to come down and drain into this pipe here. And that was just getting in the way. Oh, plus the vent for the sink over here as well. So that was getting in the way. So I have since changed that. It's going up similar to the blue one I ran there. Uh, and then I put this on the end of it. So it's definitely going to have a, a little extra step in there. But what that'll do is make it so I can stick that up through there. And I have to get a clamp so I'm not going to stick it all the way in there. And then I'm going to drop it. But then I'll stick it in here. It'll go up through the floor nicely and uh yeah there'll be an extra bit of a fitting here but yet again i'll be able to get to all this at some point in time when i need to anyhow next i will show you what i'm doing for the cold going over to the top all right now we got the blue one that's coming up behind you here and i got a three-way t here I'm hoping the red is not completely in my way here this was not thought out very well when I did this part. Oh, I need to put a cup on here. But at the same time, I needed those to be fairly close to where they are so I could hook them into a spot up top here. But what I need to do is turn that as much as I can and get that on there. And get these out of the way for now and then they're going to be so I have the T right here the one's going up through the floor one's going over the toilet and one is coming from the water line there you see I figured out where the toilet's going to go here so I don't want to come out through here because I'm actually going to put a vent in here so that the heat will come up from the basement that we're going to be heating um, just to get a little bit of extra heat that way and not waste maybe quite so much in other directions. But anyway, besides that, I know my toilet's going to be here and I know that the plumbing fixture usually comes out on this side, on the, the right side as you're sitting on the toilet I would say. Um, so I'm going to drill my hole right here for that and I can reach up underneath here. I do see that there is some wires going through in this direction right there. But not too many there. So as long as I stay close to the middle here I should be fine. Coming in here, and I can't see, or you can't see. Hopefully, I got it fairly close now. But uh, I made another one of these, the uh, brackets where this will go up, and this is what I'm going to attach all my stuff fixtures to and stuff up above here. This one's going to the toilet. Uh, when we get up there, you'll see better where and what's going and why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. 
and this blue one here is coming off the cold that's going up to the last one we just did and I got a pin here and I'm just gonna mark that probably a little long because these will flex a little bit better look at what I just did obviously that knee shoved up in the up in the hole there a little better um, but that's later on we'll show you some more of that and then that goes along so we're at the toilet here that goes along we got the bathtub uh, one here somewhere up in there where that is those both shoot straight up and those are gonna go to the tub and then it comes down along the wall and you got your water coming from the main lines or from my manifold that I built got a video on that if I haven't already told you that uh, that comes along here goes to these which shoot up and then goes that way all along the wall through there and then it comes along the wall this way anyhow so now it's going through and somewhere in here I have not got it figured out yet it's gonna go up to the upstairs sink uh, and then we're going to go over here, if I can put some more light on the subject here. And right there it goes up into the floor to the upstairs shower, which will go to the manifold for the shower. And yet again, that will all be stuff that uh, you'll get to see later on. So, we're coming in the bathroom upstairs here. And to the right, that's where our shower is going to be, the walk-in shower. There's the pecs coming up through there. Uh, as you can see, that's where the spigot or the manifold will go for the shower. And then over here, somewhere, there will be a vent pipe coming up through here. So somewhere I'm hoping in here I'll be able to bring, I'm going to have to move some wiring, but bring the plumbing up for the sink that's going to be right here. Um, so that's going to be somewhere in this area. I haven't figured that out yet. We got to go travel. We're going to uh, Ikea, so keep an eye out for an yeah. Ikea build. Then um, we got our tub here, uh, the electricals over there, plumbing over here, and here's where I came up. Hopefully you can see this, but right there and there is where the hot and cold is coming up through there. I got to make sure I got those the right direction. Um, and then obviously down below but across here bang there's that right there and that is going to be where the toilet goes to well here we are behind the toilet here and as you can see a few things have changed i kind of got ahead of myself before filming i was going to do it a different way but uh, i figured i'd show you this um, right here you can see this uh, is where the pipe that i just got done showing you is coming up through and i actually got kind of lucky where i drilled these holes because i found out that for this piece here, which I'll give you a closer look at, um, to have a two by four behind it, screwed a couple screws into the two by four here and one down through here just to kind of hold it in there good. And then I went and from previous experience of the bathroom downstairs, I didn't like the way I was doing uh, this particular part for the toilet or for behind the sink. So then I kind of looked around and I finally found these right here give you a closer look at them and they're uh, just kind of got three ears on them and uh, the pipe goes into the bottom here I don't know uh, I'm thinking this must be what they're there for but anyhow as you can see I got that screwed in uh, and the PEX pipe is coming up and going into this piece just like that and crimped uh, simple as that and then that goes down through the floor to previous so once I'm done with that then I found this nipple here and that's gonna go into here and this is all gonna be behind the wall minus this little bit here sticking out and then I found that there which yet again will be sticking out of the wall and this will go up into the toilet which is sitting right in this area over here anyhow so that's my plan so um, one thing about this as well that I have noticed from also previous 
doing the shower downstairs the uh, I used uh, Teflon tape on these kind of threads because I didn't notice very many manifolds that have the PEX fittings on them hooked to them for those that I liked anyway and they were more expensive so there is a fitting that I will also show you later on in my shower go check out my I'm gonna do an upstairs uh, walk-in shower as well so go check out that video when I get that done but anyhow figuring that out I realized Teflon tape I was having all kinds of problems I reefed on these things with a pipe wrench uh, the threads down there and had all kinds of problems with leaking with just Teflon tape so I'm gonna try this out and see if it works better uh, now you can go get whatever you want uh, this one did say lead free for um, potable stuff which obviously we're probably not going to be drinking this water but for all my plumbing most of it uh, I figured I wanted the potable lead free stuff just to keep things safe so there was this was a little bit more expensive than some of the other stuff that didn't say lead free or potable um, so I'm pretty sure this is probably if they really want to look at me hard they will want me to be using something like this so that is my plan and so uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and quite honestly I rarely use this stuff I usually use Teflon tape but it just did not work for this so I'm gonna put a pretty good chunk of goo on here and hope for the best hopefully you can see this I'm pretty sure I'm probably putting on too much but yet again it said lead free I'll try and keep it out of here and should have brought a rig then I'm going to put this fitting on here for now and see how things go. I went and found a rent, got that on there. Now we're gonna do this as tight as we can. I'm pretty sure I used way too much of this stuff, but. Like I said, I also I don't I haven't used this a lot. I usually use Teflon tape and have no problems, but uh, for this purpose, the Teflon tape definitely failed me. Now, yeah, I'm putting this on, reefing it on pretty good because I have noticed that tighter definitely was the only thing that stopped it from leaking with the Teflon tape. So. I'm going to put this stuff on pretty tight too. Yeah, oh, uh. <sighs> get this so it's facing up, preferably. <sighs> and then with the last one, I just kind of took my finger and one across here honestly I don't know I might should be wearing gloves I don't know if this stuff in the state of California probably causes cancer but if I was gonna get it I probably got it anyway because I've touched things that I shouldn't have many times according to directions but you're responsible for your own health I'm not responsible if you do anything I do. If you don't like the way I'm doing it, don't do it. I call that okay for right now. I've got to run a bunch more stuff and finish off a bunch more stuff. And later on in some videos, you will see whether or not the goop work better than the Teflon tape. And I will make sure that I tell you next time I'm using this kind of thing once I get the water flowing and uh, in the next video I'm doing for plumbing or whatever whether or not this worked well YouTube I'm gonna call that a video that pretty much 
get you all the way out to whatever fixtures you're going to be putting in beyond the plumbing. Um, like I said, I'll probably show more in depth of how I'm hooking up the stuff when I do the tub, as well as the sink, um, what my fittings look like. The sink one should be identical to pretty much to what I did on the toilet here, um, but the bathtub ones I think I'm doing different. And the shower ones are going to go up to the actual manifold, so that'll be a completely different thing. So, anyway, um, I'm going to call that a video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these. I realize this is very behind the scenes, the kind of, I don't know, uh, I guess you would say more boring stuff. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. I can see why people don't film this as much, but at the same time, it's stuff that um, there's a few little tips and things you might find that'll help you out in your case. So hopefully this helps you out. If you're liking these videos, please hit a thumbs up, comment down below. Uh, if you aren't liking them as well, comment below, and if you really want to, put the thumbs down. Um, and if this is just too in-depth, because I try to kind of be as in-depth as I can for people who just have never done it before. Alright, this is Sam, Jack of all, Master None, you all have a good one.